Hi, I'm pro saxophonist Jamie Anderson. You're watching Get Your Sax Together. And on this video, I'm gonna show you a fantastic exercise to warm up and improve your technique. Welcome back to Get Your Sax Together, guys. I've done quite a few Hall of Fame videos recently, so I thought I'd focus a little bit more on some saxophone technique videos. This exercise is something that you can play as a warm up. It's also fantastic for your technique and it's suitable for beginners, intermediate or advanced players. So as usual, if you like the channel, please do subscribe, click the bell, which will notify you if I upload any new videos. And don't forget to go down into the description where I've got a fantastic PDF that you can download with this whole exercise written out. This is an exercise that you'll often hear brass players use, and it's really gonna sharpen up your technique and get your fingers moving very fluently. So before I teach you the exercise, the main points you want to remember whilst doing this exercise are, Number one, keep your fingers as close to the instrument as you can. Sometimes it's not practical to keep your fingers right in contact with the keys at all times, but keep your fingers nice and close and just avoid that flapping around, which is really gonna slow down your technique. Number two, practice this exercise with a metronome, always with a metronome at all times, <laughs> use a metronome. And that way you're really gonna hear the little bumps and the little bits of inconsistency in your technique and iron them out over time. Number three, only practice this exercise at a tempo that you can play perfectly. Don't try and go too fast, too quick, otherwise you'll just teach your muscle memory how to do it wrong. So try and do it at the tempo that you can do perfectly then gradually speed up the tempo over time. And number four, make sure you practice this exercise in all 12 keys, even if it takes a long time to get there. So do it in the first key and then move on to the 12 keys in time. Let's run through the actual exercise. We're gonna do a G major section and an E minor section. I like to start in the key of G, it's just a nice range and it's also suitable for beginners. But ultimately we're gonna take it through all 12 keys. This exercise is in three, four, and we're gonna play semiquavers or 16th notes. And gradually over time, you'll be able to speed this up. So the first bar, here's the notes. <laughs> Now here's the second bar. And now the third bar, still in G major. Now at the end of that third phrase, you'll see that we go down and there's a D sharp, which is gonna take us into E minor which is the second half of the exercise. So here is the first part of the second half. We're now in E minor. And now the second bar. And then the final bar. So you can see we do two keys, the major key and the relative minor, and each one has three bars of three, four with 16th notes or semiquavers. So now I'm gonna join up the first major section a little bit faster. And now, the minor section, which is the same pattern, but in the minor key. So now I'm gonna demonstrate the whole thing put together, the G major and the E minor section, and I'm just gonna flick my metronome on. Not sure how well you'll be able to hear the metronome, but here we go. This is gonna be a little bit quicker than before. Two, three. Now 
Now, as you practice this slowly and methodically, and you're building up to get faster and faster, don't forget these key points. So your fingers should be a nice curved shape, making two C shapes. If you look down the instrument, you can see two nice C shapes. So no squashed duck beaks, as I call them with your fingers. We're only moving one finger joint when we press the key down. Fingers nice and close to the instrument, nice and relaxed, keep those shoulders down. And let's try and build up the tempo to really improve your technique until we're up to something like this kind of tempo. Okay, let's flick the metronome on, take this tempo up, two, three. <laughs> Now the goal is to get faster and faster and faster, so we don't have to be doing this straight away. Take your time, and then ultimately the goal is to be doing it really quite fast like this. This is a bit of a rush, so. One, two. <laughs> So now for the fun part, you've got that down in one key. Now we're going to take it round the cycle of fifths to go through all 12 keys. So if we go up a fifth from G, we get to C. But remember the second half of the exercise is in E minor. So you're going to go G, E minor, and then you actually go down a major third, which gives you the new major key of C. And then we're going to do C and A minor in that exercise. Down a major third takes you to F, and now we're going to do F major, D minor, and so on, until over time and with lots of practice you cover all the keys. So changing key as well, it sounds something like this. Now leave yourself one bar of 3-4 to breathe between each key. I've got crotchet 112 at the moment on the metronome, but that's quite fast, so it's going to take a long time to build up to that, remember. Okay, let's give this a go. One, two, three, one, two. <laughs> and so on through all the keys. So that's it for this week. I've got a fantastic exercise there for you to practice in all keys. Remember, take it slow, use a metronome, and it's really gonna improve your technique. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and click the bell to be notified of new videos. Click the like button, share the love, and all that good stuff. That's gonna help me bring more people some more fantastic content. I'll see you next time on Get Your Sacks Together. <laughs> see you later.